this um what change you seen on the, with the team? Well, you're looking at an inventory of what kind of goals that we want to accomplish this spring. We looked at it as a staff, and we want to be able to make an emphasis on pursuit, tackling. You know, develop some leadership within our different cores. You know, our linebackers, our defensive backs, and our up front guys, and develop communication between those units. And uh, we feel we've made some progress definitely in our pursuit. I mean, we we'll run through the football and. We see effort change in there, and we can see us turning and running. Now we got to emphasize probably the angles, but when you got effort like that, you know that's what you can build on. So we really like that. I think as time goes on, we got to get better at tackling right now, and uh, we got guys running their butt off to get to the football. Now we got to arrive there and get the guy on the ground and take the right angle. Some of, some of that's our angle, and you know our angle and pursuit. So we got to continue to work on that. I think we're developing some leadership within our groups. I like that. I see that. You want to see that when things are tough, you know, when it's towards the end of practice or something isn't going right in a team period. You see guys step up. You want to see that leadership at that point. And that's when, that's when we see that happening on the field. So I'm encouraged about that. I think we've got to communicate better, just talking about, you know, things that happen on the field, whether you recognize a split or alignment or a set or, you know, you're talking to an underneath guy going in, in or out, out. We've got to communicate better that way, those things. And we emphasize that today, and I saw a difference today on the field with us doing those things. Coach, I want to ask you about the, the depth at linebacker. Obviously, you knew the, the three starters coming back from last year, but, but who's shown you something beyond those three so far in spring drills? I think Rashad, uh, Rashad's doing a good job. And uh, he's doing a good job. He, and actually, you know, when a guy moves from safety to linebacker, you think he's going to have good coverage skills. And uh, he does have that. But I'm, I'm seeing him do some things against the run as an off the, long, off the ball linebacker encouraging to me. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy with his progress right now. Um, at the wheel linebacker, you, you got Mike June, and you got uh, Posniak and Epps working over there, and uh, there's a battle over there. I see some good things, and Mike June's a pretty good hitter. You know, he will, he's a strong kid, and you know, arrives at the ball in a bad mood. Um, I kind of like what he's doing here and give us some depth there. And at Mike linebacker, we have uh, Ruben Garcia is doing a nice job in there. Uh, Hans Lewis and Corwin Hamilton is doing some good things. He's a very athletic guy um, that just needs some refining. Uh, but he's got some skills. He's got to find the ball ability, uh, ability to find out the guys carrying the ball, which is, a, is definitely a gift. The guy that's also showed some good things here in the last two practices is Edsel Caprice. Uh, he had a real good day today, so that's probably sticking out in my mind right now. Garcia, just a walk on. It seems like he's holding his own and even ahead of some of the scholarship kids here. Yeah, he's battling. He's a worker. Uh, he's a smart kid. He's a great student. He likes the game. And uh, he's what college football is all about. I really admire that young man. Now, uh, is June, is he looking to, he's to stay at will right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Garcia and um, Hamilton, are they battling out for the second second spot right now? Well, they're all battling for all the positions right now, but they're all playing the mic. And, you know, when we come out of this scrimmage, we'll find, you know, where we sit one, two, three, and four, and, you know, we still got, what, six days left with a scrimmage. So uh, we'll find out how it all shapes out after, you know, we put in everything, we've retaught it, and now we're just going to go out and play and get the coaches off the field and see how they interact and, and they play, you know, with themselves on the field. In Coach, that scrimmage situations, what do you want to look for the most in Friday scrimmage? Just how they take what you teach an individual and you teach and you put into the unit and then how they take it to the team period in the scrimmage. You want to see them take all those, those tools and techniques and keys and stuff like that and just go out and play.